So this is a tribute to our war veterans, a history lesson, an exhilarating experience all wrapped up together. A restored B-17 bomber making a tour of the country now. And it will be flying over the Portland area this weekend. KT's Joe English climbed on board today. He's live at the Hillsborough Airport. Joe? Well, this is certainly beautiful to look at, and we'll give you a look right now, but get inside this plane, you really get an idea of what it was like to fight for freedom 70 years ago. An army and an air force of volunteers have restored this plane. Now they take it on a national tour. This is one of only 14 B-17s that are still flying and one of three that the public can fly in. World War II flying ace Kelly Gross escorted hundreds of these planes into enemy territory in his little P-51, but until Till today, he had never been inside a flying fortress. I get tears thinking about these guys when, when you see them go down, and there are ten men on that thing. Every time one went down, there's another ten men gone. Plane, we wouldn't be here without you, sir. I, uh, has left a mark on him and has a special place in his heart. A 45-minute flight on this plane. It's a little spendy. It'll cost you 430 bucks. But after the flights are over for the day, the public can take a tour, climb inside, walk across the payload doors, look through the bomb site, and handle the gun turrets. There is no charge for that. If you want to reserve a flight, you can uh, log on to libertyfoundation.org. That's the organization that organizes those tours. Or contact the people here at Aero Air. That's where this plane will be this weekend and those free tours again start about four o'clock this Friday and Saturday at the Hillsborough Airport. Joe English, K2 News. Joe, you took the flight. You seem to be yeah. pretty steady on your feet. Uh, <laughs> how are you feeling? How was it? No, accusations. You know, it was not a wild ride. It was a very noisy ride. It rattled around a lot. I don't know if it was a smooth ride because the weather was fairly nice. I'm sure if you're flying at 20,000 feet like they normally would uh, 50, 60, 70 years ago, it would be much more frightening. But inside that plane, even though this particular one never saw combat, you certainly can feel the presence of uh, the heroes that went into combat with this machine. Not many of them coming back alive, but uh, as they put it out here at the airport, they're the ones that don't have us speaking another language today. No question. A lot of history out there. Yep. Uh, Joe, thanks for sharing.